Well, today we are gonna be working on the Silhouette Spoiler again, and give me a day, of course, I'm gonna end up changing my mind. So I made another template, and it's a little bit shorter, and I modified some of the angles. We made this top part a little bit fatter just because it seems like uh, it, it looks a little bit bigger than what I made it. Uh, I was trying to make it not look too big because originally with some of the cardboard templates we made it too big and I was bringing it back and uh, this just kind of looks a little too skinny I would say so not fat enough and then a little too tall. Uh, I was looking at some more last night and I realized that uh, it seems like this point here is maybe at roof line. So I think with this setup here, if we do both of our stands in this shape, uh, I think we'll be right about there, which should be about correct. Obviously, there are a ton of different styles of these things and they do all different kinds of things. Even if we were to go with this one, it would be more than authentic. It would look fine. It's just... Uh, I wanted to change it up a little bit before I went with the final piece just because I think this looks a little bit better and I didn't want to go so tall. Um, so we're going to do the same exact thing and uh, now we're going to start cutting this out of the marine grade plywood. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it in half or we're going to cut it in sections. We're going to screw it together. That way I can cut both of the stands at the same exact time. That way we get it as close as possible right away. We'll sand them down together while they're screwed together, the two pieces of uh, plywood. And then from there, uh, we can unscrew them, uh, create this middle piece here, and uh, probably start glassing some stuff up. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to have to kind of figure out what we're going to do with the steel and the bolts and the nuts and, and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to be juggling a couple different things at a time and uh, figuring out how to build this thing. So now we're at the point where we're going to have to start clearancing for the metal at the bottom. Uh, we're going to be using this 3 4 inch square tubing which is the exact same size as the plywood and that way we give ourselves an eighth of an inch on either side for glasswork and bodywork. We're going to be using this on the bottom and we're going to not only glass it in but we're also going to drill holes here to be able to fit screws through it through the metal and screw it into the plywood so that way not only is the glass holding it together but also the screws will as well because obviously there's gonna be a lot of forces on this thing and we really don't want it to be coming off. I'm sure with the amount of glass work we're gonna be doing around it, it's gonna be pretty good but I really, really wanna get some long screws through it to really uh, hold this thing down. Some of you guys said to uh, drill this out and epoxy some studs in there and then maybe put some bolts or something. Um, I think that would work as well but I think the screws will be plenty enough um, but then obviously we have to take into account where our studs are gonna be coming this way to go into the trunk. So um, we're gonna just start marking everything out. We're gonna trim this real quick. Obviously I just made this exactly how I wanted it to be, the whole profile. Now we're gonna trim this down, this three fourths of an inch or an inch, and then that way this will take up where that would have been.
even though this isn't going to be screwed together in the end, we had to temporarily screw it together. That way we could glass in this angle. That way that's perfect. From there, we can use our square tubing. And from there, we'll weld in our nuts. That way we can bolt this in together and it'll all break down nice and easy. Before we get started on this, I did want to know, I know some of you guys are going to comment and saying that I could have or should have put the bolts up on top and then welded it completely around and then notched out the wood. Uh, I wish I would have done that, uh, but we really couldn't get any longer bolts that were fully threaded and I really have no idea how thick it's going to be. In some areas, it's only about half inch thick and then in other areas, I mean, it could be up to an inch or two. I'm not entirely sure and I want to make sure that we have enough threads once it goes all the way through the couple of layers of trunk. Uh, so I would have put them on top, notched out the wood, got longer uh, bolts but we couldn't get longer bolts that were fully threaded. So that's why I did it like this. I'm sure it's gonna be perfectly fine. It just probably could have been better. So uh, I know I could have done that, but that's not how we're gonna do it. It's more because this is how I was thinking of doing the nuts on this side, obviously, because this way it gives room for the thread to go in from the bolt from here. Uh, so I was kind of thinking of doing them all like that. And then obviously this way we have extra threading just in case, and I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. It just would have been better if we put the head up here and drilled completely through and then put it up up top and just notch the wood. As you can see, we have this thing kind of mocked up. Uh, some of the holes didn't line up 100%, so I'm gonna have to widen them a little bit. Really not an issue. I'd like to make them a little bit bigger just because uh, when everything's said and done, obviously we're gonna have some fitting issues and I'd like for some adjustment to be inside there. Um, we have the bolts in here. Again, we are gonna be changing out these bolts. These are just temporary and even at that, they're too long, so I wasn't able to get this thing really that tight, so it's really kind of flimsy right now. Uh, but you see that they're hitting the wood here, so 
Uh, we're gonna have to get a little bit shorter ones, but again, we are gonna get nicer ones so that it looks better on the outside, maybe some chrome ones or something, I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure you're wondering why the flare is off, um, and if you couldn't tell, I started to take off a lot of the trim, and that is just kind of paint prep stuff. Uh, I had to take this off and open the door and take off all the trim, so we got a lot of the trim here, the window trim. I didn't do the other side yet, but I was just doing it while stuff was drying. Moving us on to the fiberglass work, we are gonna be completely fiberglassing all of this stuff, and then from there, body working it. This is the only piece that got fiberglass work so far. In the next video, we will be completely fiberglassing all of this. Uh, we'll get these holes straightened out, we'll get some shorter bolts, we'll get everything straightened out, and we'll also get it completely drilled and mounted into the trunk. So from there, we should be able to tell uh, the final height and everything, and you guys should really be able to tell how this thing is gonna look in the end. It did take longer than expected, but I think it turned out better than expected as well. Anyways, guys, that is where we're gonna call it for today. Uh, if you guys are interested in helping out the channel and and the progression of this build go ahead and pick up yourself some merch we have the link in the description please check that out anyways guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed and peace out